Hey, this is Bill Jellen from MrExcel.com. This is you, Split at Dash. I have a situation here over in column A. I have a whole column of part numbers, but look at those part numbers. There's a vendor and then a dash and then the part number and then a dash and then the extension. I want to be able to sort by the, the real part number or maybe filter by vendor or something like that. So I select that whole range. We go to Data and then Text to Columns. The uh, data is delimited. In this case, the dash is called the delimiter, so we click Next. And we get to specify what the delimiter is. So I click other and then type the dash. Ah, see, they get it right away. Step three, uh, leave that as general. If we have any leading zeros here that we need to keep, then we will convert that to text. Otherwise, general is fine. Uh, and then where do we want it to go? Well, I actually want this to go out here to F2. So we'll click the little reference item there and come back. All right, let's click finish. There we go. Now, hey, as a uh, bonus, you have to be aware that once you've done this, now for the rest of the day until I close Excel, Excel is going to have a different bit of behavior with the paste function. Now, let me switch over to Notepad here uh, and I have some, you see these part numbers are here in Notepad. If I control C to copy those, come back to Excel, normally when I paste it would all go to column J, but because that dash is sitting there in step two of the text to columns wizard, uh, it is going to parse that data for me automatically. Just be aware of it, uh, that it's going to happen. If you don't want that ha to happen, actually go back in, do a text to columns and switch it back to a tab or something like that to turn that behavior off or simple enough, uh, just close Excel and reopen and that behavior will stop.